Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an Obi-Wan Kenobi statue. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Begin by placing a row of six black terracotta in a row on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. On top of this row, going from left to right, place two brown concrete, two grey terracotta, and then two brown concrete. We want to repeat this four more times. One, two, three, four, and then we just want to raise every single block up by the exact same, until we have something which should look like this. On top of this row, place a row of oak planks. For the next row, place an oak plank on the left, then four birch planks, one, two, three, four, and then an oak plank. And then repeat this for the next row, so we'll just place the oak on the end, birch in the middle. Place three entire rows of birch planks. One, two, three, and one, two, three. For the next row, place two black terracotta, two white concrete, two black terracotta. Then for the next row, place an entire row of grey terracotta. For the next row, place a row of birch planks. Then for the next row, place three birch planks, one, two, three, an oak plank, and then two birch. Extend this row upwards by three, one, two, three, and we of course want to do the exact same thing with all of the other blocks surrounding it. For the next row, place three birch planks, one, two, three, and then a black terracotta, two birch planks. For the next row, two birch planks, two black terracotta, two birch planks. For the next row, a birch plank, four black terracotta, birch plank. For the next row, birch plank, black terracotta, two white terracotta, black terracotta, birch plank. For the next row, birch plank, four white terracotta, and then a birch plank. And then for the next row, place an entire row of brown concrete and extend it two rows forwards, so one and two. On top of this row, left to right, we want to place a white terracotta, brown concrete, two white terracotta, brown concrete, white terracotta. For the next row, white terracotta, four brown concrete, white terracotta. For the next row, White concrete, light blue concrete, two white terracotta, light blue concrete, white concrete. For the next row, two brown concrete, two white terracotta, two brown concrete. Then for the next row, place an entire row of white terracotta. And then for the next row, place an entire row of brown concrete. So what we now want to do is take the top corner of the head, the top left hand corner here, place a brown concrete in front of it, extend it right by one, two, and then take the first two blocks and extend them down. The end result should look exactly like this. So the next thing that we're going to do is grab the white terracotta and we want to come down to the belt section. On the left and right sides of the belt, we want to place a row of one, two, three, four, five, of white terracotta extending out from the belt and it wants to be two rows high so on the right side of the belt and on the left one two three four five and we are just going to place an extra row on top like this what we will then do is take the bottoms of the hands here and extend these rows backwards by three one two three and you can even extend up on top of these as well with an additional row. So extend back one, two, three, 
and then place an additional layer of white terracotta on top. So this is going to look really, really random, but this is what we want to have so far. That looks, that looks so weird, but trust me, it's going to come together so quickly now. So the majority of the statue from here is made using brown terracotta, and this is how we're going to do it. We want to place brown terracotta in front of and outside of the first initial row of black terracotta that we ever placed. So in front of the left side, extending out from the left diagonally, and in front of the right side, extending out to the right diagonally like this. We then extend those brown terracottas all the way up. So they're literally going to extend all the way up to the top of the head, across the top of the head like this, and then they will extend down to the opposite side of the foot. And eventually we will end up with something that should look like this. Perfect. So from here, we now want to add a couple more rows of brown terracotta. So below the headline, so where the beard starts, where we have this row of brown concrete here, we want to have a couple of rows of brown terracotta extending outwards that extend out in front of the face like this. It lines up with the hair that we placed earlier, and this is going to give us a really cool 3D effect. So we are just making the hood to the robe. You can see it just drops one row down below the face, and it also sits one row in front of the actual face as well. So what we now want to do from here is we want to make the shape for the arms. So in front of and above the hand section here, we are going to place brown terracotta once again like this. And then we want to extend the brown terracotta upwards and join it back to the statue in the same place that the hood extends out in front like this. And the arms are basically just going to... And I guess that we, we should have actually have made the hands a little bit smaller. But it's okay because Obi is actually like wearing a hood. So we're going to extend the sides of the... Uh, we're going to extend the sides of the arms backwards until they overhang the back of the hand like this, and then extend the brown terracotta upwards and join forwards to the shoulder. So we are basically just making a giant shape that we are getting ready to fill in at a later point just with a, brun a bunch of brown terracotta. So just like this. So that is the arm on the right side and we want to do the same on the left. So above and in front of the top of the hand here, we just place a row of brown terracotta. We extend it back so that it overhangs the back of the statue by one row. And then we just extend the arms up and we just turn this into a just a nice 3D shape like this. So just a long rectangular arm like so here and here and then we have both arms and hopefully you can kind of see how this has like shaped up now so the next thing that we want to do is we want to extend the robes on the sides of the legs here backwards. So the robes on the sides of the, uh, sides of the legs at the bottom here want to extend backwards, and they want to extend back as far as the robes for the arms here, and they will actually join backwards. So I believe that that works out to be one, two, three, four, five rows backwards, extending back from the actual robes themselves, and then we just want to extend these upwards just like this. And that is going to be the entire back of the statue, because of course the back of the statue is just a robe, so it is just a brown terracotta. And we also have to extend the top of the, the, the back of the head backwards as well, so this will be this top row here, um, just underneath the headline. And we want to place two rows of brown terracotta extending back. So very equivalent to what we have on the front, as you can see. And then you can just extend the top of the head backwards and down and join it across and together just like this. And it will give us a really good outline for what we have to fill in. As I said, the majority of the statue is just brown terracotta. And it's, it's really, really simple to fill in from this point onwards.
So as if I haven't said it enough times already, all we are going to do from this point is fill in every single one of the shapes that we have created using the brown terracotta. And of course, we will be filling them in with brown terracotta as well. So I'm going to systematically, I'm just starting on the right side here. I'm going to start on the right side, including the top of the shoulder as well. And I'm also going to fill in the side of the head. And I'm just going to rotate my way around the statue, filling every single simple shape that we've created in using brown terracotta and at the end of it we will have a nice mostly completed Obi-Wan Kenobi statue. We do have one little thing to do after this though. Of course, I managed to forget to fill the back of the head in whilst I was on the back of the statue. My tutorials wouldn't be complete without some sort of slight error involved in them. Whilst I'm up here, I'll also fill in the top of the head as well. That is already looking so cool, but the last thing that we simply just have to add now is the lightsaber, which is made using light gray concrete, black concrete, and yellow concrete. So we are going to place this on Obi's belt, and it's going to be the top row of the belt on the right side here. We are going to place a light gray concrete in front of the gray terracotta. Underneath it, a couple of black concrete, yellow concrete, light gray concrete and that is going to be the lightsaber and that looks pretty awesome and that is that ladies and gentlemen if you have enjoyed the tutorial please do remember to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>